when you're choosing to grow, when you're choosing to manifest even the life of your dreams, and you're not living it right now, your mind will try to keep you in your current reality. How unfulfilling and how painful it may be, your mind knows you're survived. So it will keep you there. So each time you try to do something new or try to be happy and, and expand, it will create these limiting beliefs. It will activate that. And then again, it's coming back to the awareness like, this is not my truth. My truth is love. My truth is this flow that I feel within me. My truth is my first sacred yes I feel when I hear a certain inspiration come or a question. And it's not the mind yet that it happens after five minutes when we suddenly get to think about the proposal because that's, again, the controlling, holding on to the rock in the river instead of allowing. And, and I think it already starts, it's understanding that we have been so conditioned that way. If we at, 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 at our basic school or our first school would have been taught to communicate with our emotions, with our body, to allow our inspiration to lead the way, life would be more joyful, more easeful. We would have less illnesses, less depressions, but we have been conditioned to know it needs to look this way and you need to, you need to be like everyone else and you need to fit in this box and you need to... So we have been disconnected and now we are learning to reconnect, but that will activate these layers and then it's you saying to yourself, no, this is not my truth. I am love and I'm choosing flow. I'm choosing happiness.